Good morning. I'm here with the Director General of Democracy, Mrs. Najana Markovic. Welcome. Good morning to you too. Can you please tell us why this pilot project on the European Qualifications Passport for Refugees is important and why is it timely? Well, it's important and it's timely at the same time. Uh, it is very important uh, for both uh, refugees uh, and the member states. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, it is timely because uh, we have a lot of pressure now on the member states uh, to solve the problem and Council of Europe is trying to help. But let me first focus on why is it important for refugees. Because on the one hand, it recognizes them as individuals. It recognizes them as people, as human beings with certain professional qualifications with which they can contribute to the society. So that is very important message for those who stay probably in future. It's important because we can use their qualifications and we can much more easy integrate them in, in societies. And uh, for those who leave, maybe go back to their own countries, it's also important to recognize their qual qualifications because tomorrow they can continue in their own countries and at least they will not hate Europe, they will appreciate Europe. So for them, it's very important. I think it's also very important for member states because it is much easier to integrate somebody uh, whose qualifications are recognized either I at the university or probably in, in a, a labor market. And uh, that is very important argument because uh, tomorrow the member states know that they do not finance somebody who lives on taxpayers' money. But in reality, they just embrace somebody who has something to give to the society. For Council of Europe, this is important too, because it also um, uh, very much in a very concrete and tangible way shows how uh, diversity is not a threat, but it could be really used as an advantage. And uh, I appreciate very much, I must say, the methodology that we use because it's very concrete and if it is, uh, uh, and it's piloted, so it's experimented. It's not just an invention, but it is piloted with different uh, refugees and with different member states. It helps and it might in the end even uh, spare resources, both intellectual, but also financial resources that overall process of recognition demands. And uh, notwithstanding, uh, this is a very rigorous uh, methodology and then it helps also member states tomorrow to spare time too. So that's why I like this project and I think it's timely because we speak about crisis and I think it's time to stop speaking about crisis. It's time to speaking about long-term solutions. And how does this project fit into the wider political goals of the Council of Europe? It is uh, very much appreciated uh, uh, in Council of Europe and it has a lot of political support because uh, um, our member states uh, have uh, adopted uh, several action plans where this particular project fits in perfectly. One of them is an uh, uh, action plan on building inclusive societies, namely how to include all individuals so that they don't feel excluded. And that is the way how you fight against uh, radicalization, how you fight in the end long term against uh, terrorism, etc., etc. But, but more importantly, building inclusive societies contributes to stable democratic institutions, if nobody is excluded. And of course, refugees in integrated as well. But then we have an action plan uh, uh, on, uh, uh, to, to support refugee children, and this is one of the, of the uh, possibilities to help them too. And finally, uh, we have a Secretary General's report that specifies indeed that recognition of qualifications is important. And uh, uh, finally, we are the rule of law organization and uh, this is a kind of a application or implementation of a legal mechanism that we have. It's the article number seven of Lisbon Recognition Convention, which obliges member states uh, uh, to treat uh, recognition of, of refugee qualifications. So we help them 
also to implement their obligations. Hence, uh, I think it's very concrete, and, and but at the same time very broadly uh, 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 recognized uh, um, uh, project. So that's why I think it's important, I think it's timely, and I think it's very much politically supported by Council of Europe.